Do we want to be governed by an organization which we don't understand, run by people we don't know and haven't elected, who have the power to impose on us laws that we haven't debated and have little or no chance of blocking or repealing? Extremism at both ends is being fostered by the anti-democratic nature of the European Union. We don't know what the future of Europe is going to look like, but at the moment it's not looking good. We don't know what political forces are going to rise in the future. We don't know what conflicts we might be dragged into. Far from being it safer for us to be in the EU, there are dangers that go along with us being members of the EU, being dragged into situations we don't want to get in. Most EU countries have pathetically small military forces. The EU bureaucracy wished to create an EU army. An EU army could not function as a coordinated force as well as a powerful national one. If Putin decided for whatever insane reason to invade Europe, the thing that stands in his way is not the EU military might that we supposed to get, but the presence of NATO of which the UK and France are prominent members. And it still remains, if one is attacked, we are all attacked. That is not the EU, that is NATO. So NATO forms the backbone of the defence of our country against a credible threat. Oh, I know democracy is not popular with you lot. If people believe that the best way to strengthen the United Kingdom is to hand over every year more money and more power to an unaccountable bureaucratic elite in Brussels, then what they should do is campaign to stay in the European Union. Once something is European law, there is nothing through a democratic process the voter can do to change it. This is people versus the establishment, people versus the elite. The working man and woman of this country against people who think we have a better plan and a better mind than you. Nowhere else in the world do countries apologize for wanting to live under their own laws. It is a natural, healthy thing for a democracy to live under its own laws while trading and cooperating with every other country in the world. We are the fifth largest economy on the planet. We're the fourth military power. We're one of five members of the UN Security Council. How much bigger do we have to be before we have the confidence to raise our eyes to more distant horizons and rediscover that global vocation which we once took for granted?